I'm Emily from Nuffield Health. I'm one of the personal trainers here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on a high intensity class. We're going to start off with a short warm up and then moving on to our interval round. But after that, we're then going to go on to two circuits. You do have the option to drop out of one of the circuits if you want to. And then we're going to go on to a short cool down. So guys, we're going to start off with a warm up. We're going to get jogging on the spot to start with, okay? So get those feet moving. Again, first round, we're going to keep it nice and light. Now guys, we're going to be doing two rounds of this. Each move is going to be 30 seconds. So I just want you to relax and just keep breathing, okay? It's fun. Good, we're going to start introducing those arms. Again, throughout the warm-up, keep it to your level. If you need to grab a drink at any time, you can do so. We're nearly done now. Next move, we're going to be doing squats. So you're going to come all the way out, feet wide, nice and wide apart. You're coming all the way down, all the way up. So if you look at our regression, just behind me, Jenna here, she's going to come just a little bit higher than the rest of the guys. So if you come as low as you can. Again, warm up first round, keep it nice and light, making sure from the side view, you're going all the way down, all the way up, keeping that head up, chest up, and really bracing that core. Good work. We're nearly there now, last little bit. Beautiful. Let's go star jumps. We're going to go all the way out, all the way in. Now the best thing to do, guys, if you're struggling with the jump in, is you can do a step tap, which is what Jenna's going to show you. So she's going to come out and in. As you can see, her toes are still on, she's on her toes, working her legs nice and hard. Good, we're nearly done. Third move, nearly in. You're doing really well, guys. Final four. Excellent. Okay, let's bring them up. We're going to go high knees. So from side on, we're going to bring it right up. Excellent. So as you can see, Jenna here is going to be walking it out. So she's going all the way marching, keeping the chest open, head up, and the shoulders back. We're going to feel that heart rate starting to rise now, guys, but keep it moving. You're doing really well. Last move. Okay, we're going to go back to jogging on the spot now. So as the knees come down, no rest here, guys. Excellent. So remember, whole time, head up, chest up, keep breathing. This time, we're going to start to introduce those arms, getting that heart rate up. If we can start feeling the sweat coming out as well now. Beautiful. We're well over halfway. Final five. Take a nice deep breath. Are we ready for those squats, people? Two, one, let's go. Squat it out all the way down. Good. Remember, if you need to come a little bit higher and you don't feel like you can get that depth, then do so. As long as you're working hard, that's all that matters. Good. We're nearly there now, guys. The final five seconds. Excellent. Let's go. Star jumps all the way out. Beautiful. And remember, at any point you need to step down to that regression, do so. Make sure you're staying on those toes, bringing those arms and legs out nice and wide. This is the final bit now, guys. The last move's coming up for the warm-up. You're doing really well. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's bring those high knees up. So we're going to bring them right up. Higher than before. Remember, last move, so this is where we can put all the effort in now. Good, so as you can see, coming round, Jenna is marching here. She's making sure that she's still moving her body, but she's keeping those knees and legs moving. We're adding those arms. Final five seconds, we're done with the warm-up, people. Beautiful work, and rest it there, guys. Right, this is where you can go grab a drink, towel off, and relax, ready for round one. Okay guys, so we're now, now nice and warm. We're gonna move straight into our interval round. So what we're gonna be doing is 20 seconds of work with 10 second rest periods. So what we're gonna do guys is come down into our press up position. So you've got a couple of options here. Remember for your regression throughout the workout, you're gonna follow Jenna. 
for a more advanced version or for the higher version you're gonna follow with the rest of us. So we're gonna come up for 20 seconds, press up position guys, let's go, three, two, one. So we're gonna go all the way down, all the way up, making sure that our chest is coming towards the floor, making sure you're breathing up and down as well. Okay, if you look at Jenna, she's on her knees. We're gonna go all the way down. Good, you got about five seconds, guys. Two, and one. Okay, bring it back. Quick stretch out of the arms. You've got 10 seconds rest now. This is the bit where you're really gonna focus on your breathing. It's a very short time. You got one more second. Let's do this. Press ups, guys, let's go. So you're gonna feel your heart rate rising quite a lot now. You're gonna to start to feel the blood really pumping around your body. But that's what we want. We want results and we want it now. So we're gonna keep working. Final three seconds, let's do this. And rest. 10 seconds, rest. You doing good? We still with you? We have two and one. Let's go, round three. So remember, you wanna get the most out of this 20 seconds work. So you really wanna push that body. Make sure, even if you're doing the regression, you're still working. Try not to stop. Short periods of workout, short periods of rest. Okay, guys, rest it out. Good work. Okay, last one on the press-ups. We're then going to change the move on the second set of four. Are we ready, guys? Let's do it. Let's press. So remember, every time you go up and down, you're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth making sure you get that full breath in and making sure you're still working hard. Excellent. Okay, guys, during the rest period, we're going to bring it up onto our feet. We're going to be facing this way because we're going to be doing jump lunges, okay? Remember, you've got your regression. So into the jump lunge, it's then a quick movement back and forward, adding in those arms. If you need to regress it down, you're gonna step it out into a reverse lunge, take out the jump, let's go. Beautiful, okay, rest it out guys, round one, done. We got three more rounds. It's a tough one, that's why it's called high intensity. It's intense, are we ready? Let's do it, 20 seconds. Now this is where your legs are gonna be burning, your heart rate's up, but you gotta keep going. Don't give up, okay? We're here with you. You're not on your own. Five seconds, keep it going. Two, and one, rest. Two more rounds. How are we doing, guys, are we okay? We're good? Good. We're still smiling, we must be good. Okay, we've got third round, let's do this. Let's go. Now really use those arms. It's not momentum. It's about using the full body movement in this exercise. We're nearly there. Well over halfway. And rest. Whew. If you feel it, it means it's working. Are we ready? Final, three seconds. Last one. Let's go. So remember guys, you've always got that regression. On the regression, make sure you're coming back, hold, and then come back up. The control of the body is way more important. Technique over speed. Good work and rest. That's the interval round done. Now what I want you to do, grab a drink of water, take a minute's rest, and then we'll go straight on to circuit one. Okay guys, so warm up done, intervals done. Now we're going with circuit one. Now this is where the real hard work starts, okay? So we're gonna go with four exercises, 30 seconds each, no rest. Let's do this. Okay guys, we're gonna go with squat jumps first. Let's go, 30 seconds, all the way down, all the way up. So what I want you to focus on doing here is driving from the bottom. So when you come up, you're really pointing those toes, really bringing the power up. As you know, through the whole thing, Jenna's gonna be doing the regression here. Don't be afraid to step it down as long as you keep moving. So really get that height. Good. 
You've got 10 seconds. It's easy. Keep it going. Final bit. Whew, push those legs. Are we ready? By burpee with a wide stance. You're going to come down, jump out wide, jump in, arms above the head. Remember, Jenna's in the regression. So you're going to step, step instead of that jump. Now, they don't call it intense for no reason. So keep it going. Jumping out, jumping in, making sure you're breathing, squeezing that core, working hard. Guys, are we ready? We're gonna go down for mountain climbers. Coming down, bringing it in. So the aim here is to make sure your shoulders are over your hands here. Making sure your head's down, neck relaxed, and again, getting that breathing in. Bringing those ne knees in towards the chest. And obviously we've got Jenna here stepping instead of the run. Okay, we're coming straight back up. Pointing those toes outwards now. We're going into that squat position, but what we're gonna do is come down, touch, point those toes. Now I know what you're thinking. We've already done squat jumps. No, no, no. We're working a whole different part of the body and a whole different area. So just keep moving, get the heart rate up. You can give me seven seconds of your time. Keep it going. Big push. Two. And rest. Well done, guys. Awesome. Great work. Now you have the option now. We're going to go on circuit two. If you've had enough and you've worked hard, that's great. If you want to join us for circuit two, grab a drink, towel off, and jump in. Okay, so now we've got circuit two. Warm up done, intervals done. Circuit one done, now it's circuit two. So we're gonna start off with our first move, which is gonna be power punches. So let's get down in that squat position and start moving those shoulders and arms. So from the side on, again, you're here, parallel, nice and low, move those shoulders. Again, the regression here is just don't go as low, don't move the shoulders as fast. If you really wanna push, let's get that maximum effort in. You're already 10 seconds down, easy, let's push it. Well over halfway. Keep it moving, keep that head up. Core strong. Let's get a good cardio and arm workout. Keep it moving. Five seconds now. Are we ready for those speed skaters? Coming all the way across. So we're going to touch. Across. Touch. Now the important part here, guys, is keep the butt low, chest low, head up. The weight's going down onto each leg. Now remember, you've always got your regression. So here, what we're doing is lunging across and touching. So you're still gonna get that great leg workout. The heart rate's still gonna be up. You're just pushing yourself to your limit. Two seconds now. Are we ready? We're gonna go into a snowboarder, which is a 180 jump. So from here, you're gonna jump, weight down, all the way across. Now your second option here, guys, is to step and squat. So all you do is a little step and squat. Let's do it, let's go. All the way. Now land soft into that nice deep squat position. Soft. Good. Final two. And we're going to finish this off with one of those beautiful planks. Down we go. Now here, we're going to come down onto those forearms. Head over hands. Focus on your breathing. The regression here, guys. Come down onto those knees. Make sure your weight's forward. Hips down, bum down. You're nearly there. You've done really good. Ten seconds. Take a nice deep breath. Don't give up now, you're so close to the end. Excellent. Now circuit two, you did it, well done. Well done guys, now let's cool you down. So what I want you to do, I want you to come down onto your mat, okay? Laying down. I want you to bring it back, keeping the head up, shoulders back. All I want you to do is straighten one leg, bringing the knee in, and take a nice deep breath. This is the good part. This is where you get to relax. Feel proud of what you've done. You did really good. And changing legs. You can get that breath back. 
it's really important to stretch afterwards, guys. So don't leave now. Get really close to the end. Excellent. We're going to roll it up. Bring in one leg inside and reach in towards that toe. Now keep the back straight and the chest open and just reach forward. You're going to feel the stretch all the way down your hamstring. Bringing it forward. Good. And slowly changing over. Okay, guys, we're going to slowly bring it up onto our feet. We've got those last few stretches, getting all the body worked out. So we're going to bring your hands into the small of your back and push your elbows together. Open up that chest and keep that head up. Take a nice deep breath. Good. Then we're going to bring the arms around the front, bringing the head down, stretching out that neck, really rounding through. Good. Okay, the last stretch. A nice relaxing bit. Bring your feet just over shoulder width apart. Roll yourself down to the floor and reach towards those toes. You start to feel your heart rate come down nice and slowly now. The sweat's still coming out though. We're going to come over towards that left side, just reaching across. And over to the other side. Now we just slowly roll up. Excellent work, guys. You made it through your high-intensity class. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'd advise you to do this at least two to three times a week, incorporate it into your normal workout. Again, you can do as much or as little as you want. If you want to do five sets, if you want to do two sets, or even one, as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. Well done.